Hey there, in this video I'm going to go over what graphic novels are and some terms that you're going to need to know to read them and write and draw your own. So first, what is a graphic novel? A graphic novel, um, they're books that are made up of comics. Uh, it includes lots of different genres, fiction, nonfiction, anthologized work. Um, they're usually not a series of stories. They're a self-contained novel in and of themselves. So it's basically just a regular novel, but with pictures. So that's a graphic novel. The history of graphic novels, uh, super not, not very long. William Blake was the first person to write a graphic novel. Um, in the 20s to the 60s uh, was when it first went from just comic books to graphic novels. And the term came to use in 1976, so not a super long history. Uh, why should you read them? Well, they're fun to read. They're all the elements of a novel, so it's like reading a novel. Uh, it just has some pictures. They're the same reading level as a novel. They keep you interested, and a lot of people enjoy reading them who uh, necessarily wouldn't like reading otherwise. So we're going to go over some terms for graphic novels that you're going to need to know here. First term that you need to know is a panel. That's those little squares. They can be squares, they can be lots of different shapes, um, but a dis panels are a distinct segment of the comic. They contain a combination of image, so the picture, and the text, uh, and it's a variety that's endless, lots of different combinations. Panels offer a different experience than simply reading a text. That's an important point. Reading a graphic novel is not the same experience as reading a novel. So first off, the spatial arrangement, how they're arranged, um, can, can allow the author to show like the, the juxtaposition between the present and the past. So you could have like all the present on one side and all the past on another. It's a lot harder to do with just words. Um, unlike other visual media, like videos or movies, transitions are instantaneous and direct, but the exact timing it, of the reader's experience is, is determined by how fast you're doing, you're reading it, not, not the movie. Um, one thing to note here is you go from left to right and top to bottom while reading. So if I were to read this, I would read here, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. So here's some more terms. So as we have, we have our panel here, okay? Now, um, the next term that we need to have is the frame. The frame is the lines and borders that contain the panel. So just like a picture frame, it's the same thing. Uh, the next thing is a gutter. The gutter is the space between the framed panels. And different uh, illustrators and authors will use those gutters in different ways and have different spaces and use different things with them. Uh, a bleed, it's not necessarily on this page, but we'll get to it soon. That's an image that extends to and or beyond the edge of the page in the panel. Um, the next thing are captions and a text box. So they're boxes containing a variety of elements. It's usually the narrator who is in the text box and the caption. And lastly, um, speech balloons. So there's two different types of speech balloons, um, and they include dialogue coming from the speaker's mouth or um, from their head. They vary in size, shape, and layout. And also you want to go from left to right and top to bottom with, with those if there's more than one speech balloon in a panel. So here's an example of a bleed where the image comes through the gutters here off the panel and even off the page. You can see if I were to be reading this, I'd be going from left to right and top to bottom. So I'd read this, 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 this. That is how I would read this particular page. So I said we have two different types of um, dialogue here, two different types of speech bubbles. The first one Mommy. is internal dialogue. These are more frequently known as thought bubbles. You can see here that I can tell that this guy is thinking this and not saying it because we have the thought bubble there. The other type of, is, of dialogue is external dialogue, speech bubbles. And you can see here that we can tell this guy is saying these things because they are um, speech bubbles like that. 
Another two terms to know are background and foreground. Foreground is what's placed in the front, so your eye goes there first. We can see that these panels are more in the front. The background is what's in the back, um, and background provides additional subtext, usually some deeper meaning for the reader. So those are the terms that you're going to need to know for reading and illustrating and writing your own graphic novels. Have a great